Hello, hello, my beautiful boos. I'm going to be reviewing this kit today for you guys. So this is a video that I, you guys are maybe will love. This is a dip powder kit from Azure. This is Model 1's. Um, really, well, this is the Azure kit. Um, I'm really excited. It tells you everything that the package includes down here. It tells you you got eight colors in this, dipping colors. You've got a base, a top, an activator, a nail brush. You get a brush saver, a nail file, and you get three replacement brushes in this kit. On the back, it just tells you the um, ingredients. It tells you some manicure tips and tells you the warnings. It also tells you how you can contact them if needed. So let's go ahead and open this and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so when you open this kit, this is what you're going to see. You get a brush in this set, you get eight colors, and there's your four liquids, and you get this nice little uh, size file. You get your three replacement brushes, and then you get this as well. You get your stickers to put on top of your dip powder so you know which color is which. You also get a pamphlet in this kit that gives you a little bit of instructions on how to use this kit. It's got their customer service just tells you how you can apply these step by step you know either way if you do natural nails or if you do artificial nails tells you each how to exactly use this kit now I'm going to tell you a little bit about this kit <clears throat> now I did the video on this on this kit and I do have to tell you with this kit um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, like I did the dipping and everything but something I didn't tell you guys was that when you're using this kit you have to give this kit time to dry. It's the only thing that I noticed that was different than most dip powder kits that I've used. So, like in the in this, when I tried to file it, um, it wasn't completely dry, so it tried to peel a little bit. But that was my error because I didn't let it dry long enough. So when you're using this kit, and I'll leave a link down below from one of my friends. Um, she has a YouTube channel, Pumpkin Nail Station. She also done this kit, but she advised me to let it dry a little bit longer. So anywhere from five to maybe 15 minutes just really depends um now i usually do two layers of activator she does as well too but now in this kit it only tells you to do one layer um but it has to have time to dry it actually is a good kit it does work it's just that process of take, giving it time and waiting for it to dry um which is different for me because most dip powder kits that I've ever used, you know, it doesn't. It takes a few minutes, but um, these are so pigmented and so beautiful that literally. That, but that's why you have to let it dry because it's so pigment. There's a lot of pigment in this, um, in these little jars. They are very, very nice. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna start off with this color here. I went ahead and put the labels on each color. But before you dip, the first thing that you want to do, you want to mix that color up really, really well. You just want to mix that and make sure that it's really good and shaken and stirred. Because if not, when you go to dip, it's liable uh, to not pick up very well. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to go ahead and take this top part off here. As you can see, they are really, really full. Now, I'm going to put these on swatches for you guys. And the first thing I want to do, I'm going to use the number one. And this is the base. And this is what you're going to use to uh, start off with. This is the glue part. So you just want to put a thin layer just like this. Now, it tells you to do two colors, but it's totally up to you guys if you want to do two layers. Um... I'm just going to slowly push that in there. But like I said, these are so pigmented, guys. They truly don't even really need two layers. Ugh. I knew I was going to do that. As you can see, like it's super, super, super pigmented. I'm going to give that a second to dry. You do want to wait for a few minutes to let that dry. Give it about 60 seconds to dry. 
and then once it is dry I'm just going to take my brush I'm just going to lightly tap over on top of it I don't want to swipe over it or anything like that because that's not going to cause indentations in it if it's not fully dried but I'm going to show you how to do this on this first one and the rest of them I'm just going to kind of speed through them a little bit so this video won't be so long Thank you um and that looks pretty good to me actually I don't really think that it needs a second layer like I said you know it's pretty um, pigmented so I'm just going to go ahead and put the uh, lid back on this one I do think that might might, might be one of the reasons like I said it, it doesn't um, it needs to dry really well first so let's let that dry and I'm going to go ahead and use the second one here, which is the number two. This is the activator. And I don't want to oversaturate it, but um, I just want to make sure. So I'm going to wipe that brush off a couple times. And then I'm going to go and go over top of this. Wipe your brush off because you don't want to get that inside of your activator. Let that dry for a good minute or two. Like I said, it's pretty. They are really pretty too. Now you actually get it's it's seven different colors, and then the last color is that it's not a color. It's actually a clear. So it's eight jars, but seven of them are colors. One's clear. I just want to make sure that that is good and dry before I put anything on it. Wait a good minute or two. Use the kind of feel of it. Make sure it's good and dry. Because if it's still wet and then you go apply another layer on top of it, it won't. Um, it just won't work that well. Alright, making sure this buffer is clean. But I'm just going to take a buffer because doing dip powder, they're pretty even already. But once you get that, like I said, you just want to make sure it's completely dry. But I'm just going to kind of buff over these a little bit. And what this activator does, it actually makes sure that it's completely dry. You're going to let that wait and dry again for another 60 seconds. This one did a lot better than um, the other one did because, I, like I said, um, on the other swatches I did two layers. And I do feel like that has, um, I mean, you can do two layers, but I really think that I just didn't let it dry long enough. So I wanted to redo this part to see if it made a difference. And you'll see in the other, uh, the rest of the video that I'm doing two layers on each one of those. Um, but I wanted to try this over to see if it actually done better. So, and that actually worked really well. So now I'm just going to go in with the number three. And this is the gel top coat. And already I can say that it actually did a lot better. That was so much better than it was the first time I did it around. Like I said, it was totally my fault. I do... Um, I have to say that because that looks 10 times better than what I did with the rest of them. Um, and at the end of the other ones, I used a gel top coat instead of the one that came with it because I didn't know what I was doing wrong. And then, like I said, my friend told me I just didn't wait long enough for it to dry. So, and already this is so much better. You want to wait a good minute let that dry. Let it dry all the way.
I'm going to show you the uh, first swatch I did. Now that was two layers and that's with a gel top coat, like an actual gel top coat. And um, this, uh, that's an option that you have that if you want to put a gel top coat you can or you can use the one that's in it. But now once this is fully dry I'm actually going to add another layer on top of that. Um, that's just how I've always done uh, dip powders. It's so pretty. So much better. And then, like I said, I'm just going to fill it up, make sure it's completely dry. And it is. It's absolutely completely dry. That makes me so happy to know that I actually did better this time. So now I'm just going to take and I'm going to add one more coat. Now on the gel top coat and the uh, base coat, I'm going to tell you a little trick to keep your lids from sticking. Because um, a lot of dip powders, like the if you don't watch what you're doing, if you get the glue around the tip end of the bottle, it will stick. It'll stick together. So I take a little bit of cuticle oil on my finger and just rub around the rim. And that way it will not stick together. So, And that is what it looks like, guys. I am so happy and so excited that I redid that for you guys. Because I was just... I knew that I wasn't doing something right. Like I knew it was my fault. And because their kits are absolutely amazing. They are so stunning. But I'm going to go ahead and let you watch the rest of the videos. Um, what I did on the other ones. And you'll see that like, I didn't wait long enough to let them dry. But it is completely dry all the way through. And it is so beautiful. As you can see it looks so much better than the first one I did. I'm going to go ahead and do one more for you guys. I think. And I want to do... Um, I'm going to do this glitter one for you guys because I want to show you something with glitter. Okay, this one is number 45. Depending on what kind of glitter it is, this is a chunky light glitter. Um, a lot of times, chunky glitters are better over a base color. And you do have to make sure that it's mixed up really, really well. Um, as you can see, they they are so full too, guys. So be very careful that when you're dipping these, that you have something underneath it to catch the excess. And uh, that way you can pour it back in the jar if you like to or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. But you do want to make sure that it's good and mixed up. And that looks really well. It's good. Okay. So, I'm going to show you this watch that I did the first time. And this is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. Um, it actually covered really well. Uh, one thing about the uh, glitters, though, sometimes they will be a little bulky. So I advise you to maybe um, put a couple of layers of clear over it. And then buff it down smooth. And then apply the um, top. That way it's not rough or rigid. Um, but like I said, this was for... Uh, just video purposes and like I said I didn't do these right so let's go ahead and start so first of all like I said you're going to start off with the base these are um, so nice guys you get a good amount of size in these jars as well um, I'm just going to try my best to keep it thin and just pull it down from side to side um, something I do want to tell you guys too, them being so pigmented, um, you can change your brushes up if you like, but you can use the brush saver, brush saver, which I did, and it really, really, really saved my brushes. It absolutely cleaned them really good. Now, as you can see, it's not fully covered there, so I'm going to give that a second. Let that dry as much as you possibly can before you dip again, okay? The thing about um, doing these, like on swatches, the difference is, is if you're doing them on your own hands, you have to wait till you do all ten fingers and then start over. But that's where I was messing up because I was doing that, wiping it off and doing it again and not giving it that minute to completely dry all the way through. But like I said, I'm I'm you know I'm just human. 
But you know, I just want you guys to know that, you know, I do make mistakes just as well as anybody else does. So I'm just kind of tapping it at first, just trying to get that little bit of uh, powder off there. And then I'm just going to kind of barely float over and just pull that excess off. And that's what it kind of looks like with the first. Um, and then we're going to, I'm just going to wipe some of that glue off. Now I'm just going to slowly pull this over it one more time because where it's a glitter, it's going to be a little bumpy. So you just want to make sure you're getting it covered everywhere. Kind of float over it if that makes any sense. That does help it a lot. Make sure your lids are on good. So now I'm just going to, I'm going to dip it one more time. No. Okay, we're going to give this a good, good, good minute to dry. Maybe even two minutes if that's what it takes. Because like I said, this is two coats now. So we're just going to make sure that it's fully dried. Okay, so now I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to kind of once again, just kind of pat that off. I want to take my finger and just kind of make sure that it's as flat as possible. It's good and dry now, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this away. Okay, so I'm actually going to take the clear. The reason I said that, you know, it's better to put this over a, uh, a base color because that way you don't have to, um, the, th the chunky glitter will show up a lot better. So anyways, we've got that done. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go over this one more time. We'll make sure the glue is all the way over it. And I'm going to dip in this clear. That looks pretty good. I am going to push this in just a little bit here. It feels really good. So now I'm just going to take my activator. And I'm going to wipe it off like this. And then I'm just going to go and pull it down this nail on each side. Like I said, just let it let it completely dry, and then we're going to buff. Okay, so now that it is completely dry, I'm just putting the lid on this. I'm taking my buffer, and I'm just going to very gently going to go over this. just another minute to dry. I don't think it's fully dry. It kind of feels like it's not. You'll hear that tapping noise when it's completely dry. So let's give it a few more seconds to dry. So now I'm going to do the deal top coat. 
or actually, I'm not. I'm going to actually do the activator one more time. I think I need to just buff it a little bit more because I feel like that glitter is sticking out right there. You want to feel over it, that way you can tell if it's smooth or not. I'm going to hold it for just a second. Just want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now it's completely dry as you can see. It looks fantastic guys. Like I'm super proud and happy of it. So yeah, looks a lot better. Better, better, better. Anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and roll the rest of this video for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, these are my faults on what I do sometimes. So like I said, you'll see that I, they're kind of still gooey and things. I can't buff it. But I just wanted to come on here, redo it, give it another try because that's what we do. We try things until they work. And so, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I love you guys, and here you go.
Alright, my lovely friends. So these are the final results of all the dip powders. I hope you enjoyed them. Like I said, you know, just take your time. Let these dry. Uh, that was a mistake that I made. But I just wanted you to see, you know, what I did to fix it, you know, and things like that. I just used a regular gel top coat to go over it. But um, just give these time to dry and they will work uh, correctly. Like I said, you know, that's the biggest thing that I think that I did wrong was I think I oversaturated them with activator, so therefore it took them longer to dry, and I just wasn't giving it time. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down below. But anyways, guys, I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful, blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's be friends, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!